Hey, what's up guys? This is David from How To Ghost, and today we're going to talk about where to host your ghost blog. Now, we have chosen three different options that we think are the best. This is by no means the only places you can host. There's lots of other hosting options. So if you have a host you like that can host Ghost, then it's probably the best to go with what you already know. But these are just the, the three we recommend. Each of them has their own strengths, which we'll go over. And so let's go ahead and get started. The first place we recommend is Ghost Pro. Now, this is Ghost Official Hosting. And that is not why we picked it. We picked it because it's actually one of the best, if not the best, place to host your ghost blog. It will auto-install everything for you. It only takes like 30 seconds to get a blog up and running. And you don't have to do any work. All you have to do is just set up your ghost blog by putting in the name. And then everything else is just blogging. So you don't have to do any server management. You don't have to do any security. They update everything for you the second a release comes out. So this is really the best place if you just want to show up and write and that's all you care about, then this is the best place to host because they take care of everything else. If you have a problem, you can email them. They have a lot of other features like Cloudflare to help with, you know, worldwide CDNs and stuff like that if you if you care. But this really is the best option for a lot of different people who don't want to spend hours, you know, trying to upload their theme or update to the latest version or, or things like that. If you're unfamiliar with that kind of stuff, you know, like running your own server, this is really the place you should look to go. Now, a lot of people will see the $8 a month and think that's kind of expensive, which compared to like some other shared hostings and stuff, which is, you know, typically like $4 a month, it is a little expensive, but you also don't have to do any work. So you kind of like pay for what you get. So you just show up and you blog, like I said, and you don't have to do anything. So while it is a little bit more expensive than other plans, it is really one of the best options you can get. And also, you're also supporting the long run health of the ghost project. So that's kind of like an added bonus. But yeah, this really is the option that I tell most people to go to because for most people, this is the best place to go and the safest and the most secure and just flat out easiest way to get a good experience blogging with ghost. The other option that we have is DigitalOcean. DigitalOcean is actually where we host all of our blogs. The way it works is you pay five or $10 a month for a VPS, which is a full operating system, and you run Ghost on that server that they assign you. Now, they do have a one-click install, so 60 seconds you say, hey, install my Ghost blog, it does everything for you, and then all of a sudden you're up and running. And that's great. But the hard part with DigitalOcean is you do have to manage your own server. So you do have to take security into account, you do have to make sure your server is up to date, you have to update Ghost, and all that kind of stuff. So you have to use the command line for all of that. So if you're not familiar with the command line, this could get kind of daunting beyond the initial install. Because the initial install will install everything for you, but when it comes time to update Ghost, you have to go through terminal and do all the commands, and it can kind of get tricky for some people, and some people don't want to spend hours doing it. That being said, it is one of the cheaper options because you can host multiple ghost blogs on a VPS. So for example, we have a $5 a month VPS that runs three of our sites. So that's a, a pretty good deal. You know, we're paying like, what is that, a dollar something for each of our ghost blogs. Now we have five in total, um, but we, we really like this site for us because, you know, we know how to use Nginx and Apache and all that other kind of stuff. We do all of our server updates ourselves, and that's just something we're familiar with. Now, if you're not, again, this can get really tricky, and to save $3 a month, you could be spending hours on your server rather than actually blogging. So it's kind of a um, price comparison for you of if you wanna learn that or whatever else, it might be worth it. But for most people who just wanna show up and blog, a place like Ghost Pro would really be the best place to go. And the last one that we have is Amazon. And the benefit of Amazon really is that if you're new to Amazon EC2, you can get a year of hosting for free. That's really the only benefit I would give it over anything else, but that is a huge benefit because a lot of people wanna try out Ghost and don't wanna sign up and just start paying right away. DigitalOcean, you pay per hour. So you sign up and the first hour you're getting charged. Sure, it's like whatever, however many hours are in a week divided by $5, so it's like nothing but you still are getting charged. And Ghost Pro has a 14 day free trial, but sometimes you get busy and you wanna just check it out later. So with Amazon, you can get a whole year for free. 
Uh, Bitnami has a one-click installer. We have a one-click installer that we've made. And so it really is a good place to go and just check it out in your own time. Uh, that being said, once the year is up, it's not really the most economical place to host your blog because at $5 a month for DigitalOcean, it actually is cheaper to host it there than it would be to host on Amazon. And Amazon, because it's more built for like big businesses and other things like that, getting your URL to point to your, your VPS is a little bit more difficult and things like that. So for a production blog that you're going to be actually writing on and using, I would recommend DigitalOcean or Ghost Pro. But for someone who just wants to check it out and doesn't care what the URL is, doesn't care anything like that, this is a great place to just try it out for free and test things out or just see what's with all the hype or things like that. So Amazon is definitely a great place for that. Um, and yeah, those are the three options that we have. There's a lot of other good options. This is by no means the only three, like I said. But these are the three that we like. These are the three we recommend to people. And uh, yeah, if you host somewhere else or you have questions on something else, definitely leave a comment below and we'll help you out. Um, if you want to check out our Ghost for Beginners ebook that goes over a whole bunch of stuff about getting started with Ghost, we'll have a link for that in the description. And if you want to subscribe, definitely do that. Install tutorials for, for all three. These will also be in the description. We have done installs on all of these, obviously, because we recommend them. But yeah, all of that will, will be down below if you want a step-by-step -step guide on how to install on each of these. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.